There's been a good number of calls to help out the independent musician, but a couple of artists are starting to make some noise for their tour crew. We'll tell you about those artists in a little bit more coming up. It's Tuesday, March 24th, and this is The Current Music News. I'm Jade from The Current. And I'm Jay. Our top story today, we are acknowledging the loss of a couple of jazz greats to the coronavirus. Uh, Cameroonian saxophonist Manu Dibango has died at age 86 after being hospitalized with COVID-19. He's been active for decades. You might know any of his large body of work, but the song he's best known for is Soul Makosa. It was a hit from 1972 that was sampled uh, by artists including Michael Jackson on Want to Be Starting Something and Rihanna on Don't Stop the Music. Uh, the virus has also sadly claimed Mike Longo, a jazz pianist best known for his work with Dizzy Gillespie. And that's not the only artist with COVID-19 news that we've heard from. Uh, if you are at all familiar with Ed O'Brien, a.k.a. EOB, as he's just released some new music out under, uh, he is a part of Radiohead. And he said that he has been quarantining himself in Wales at home because uh, he has symptoms of COVID-19. He hasn't officially heard back from uh, a test or anything like that, but he said he had all the symptoms. He had uh, flu-like symptoms. He couldn't taste anything. He couldn't smell anything. So uh, he said he's in recovery. He's starting to feel better, but he thinks he may have contracted it while he was in Paris doing some tour promotion uh, about two weeks ago. So we'll keep you posted if there are any other musicians uh, where they have... COVID-19 related illnesses or anything like that here on the current music news. We talked to Chris Thiele, mandolin virtuoso, member of the Punch Brothers and host of the show Live From Here. Well, given the circumstances where it is not safe to be bringing artists and audiences together in a theater, Live From Here has pivoted to be Live From Home. And he told us about why that is and how the show's approach is adapting to the circumstances. You know, being in the room with people who are making uh, music in real time is so exciting. Um, we're being deprived of that right now, but um, but that doesn't mean that all of these people that make music are are ceasing to make music. We're doing it. We're just doing it in our houses. Um, and so the idea that we would try and turn that into a stage is basically what what uh, live from home is all about. So it's become you know quite a quite a boisterous little open mic. Um, you know, in the backdrop of all of the all of the the, the fear and anxiety that we're all feeling uh, that it's nice that we can still work with that urge that we all have to make something and share it with people. And going from artists performing live to artists helping out their tour crew. Uh, so bands like The National, bands like Soccer Mommy have made a plea uh, and actually have posted up saying uh, to their fans, yes, you still need to help out these independent musicians, these independent artists. They still need that money and that help for those tours that were canceled. But don't forget about all the people who you don't see on the stage. They're talking about the guy who's doing the lighting design and running the lights, uh, the guitar tech, all of that crew behind the scenes that you don't typically see. They're out of jobs right now as well. And uh, Matt Berenger of The National went on Twitter and he said, our crew are the lifeblood of our tour operation and have become family through the many years we've worked together. So trying to help out and spread the word that there are other people who also need some support in this time. It's a great reminder that the music industry is about way more than just the people you hear on the record and see on the music videos, but all those behind the scenes people who are also out of work right now and really need support. Yeah. Well, that's today's music news. We'll be back next time with another update. You can like and follow us. You'll be sure to catch it. And in the meantime, you can listen to The Current on the radio, on our web stream, our app, or your smart speaker. You can also click in the comments. And let us know what music stories are meaningful to you right now. So to send you off, we have an unusual collaboration. This is <laughs> I, love the, I love this, Jay. I love that people are getting together. There's stranger combinations that occur, the more I enjoy it. 
And you know, this is really just a beautiful Bono story too, right? Because who is gonna step up at a time like this and just write a song that expresses what what a lot of us have been feeling? Well, Bono wears his heart on his sleeve and has uh, put his hands on the piano and written a song called Let Your Love Be Known. That was inspired by the video a lot of us have seen of Italians singing together from their balconies while keeping isolation under these uh, extreme health circumstances. So Bono shared that song and now he's shared a new version of it uh, with help from a few friends, including Jennifer Hudson singing along with him. Uh, Yoshiki from the band X Japan on piano, and Will I Am. Yes, that's right, Will I Am, whose Black Eyed Peas once famously asked, Where is the love? <laughs> well, we know the answer now. It's right here on the internet. We'll send you out with Let Your Love Be Known.